All right, let's find out how to properly debug streams where you have chain method calls like map, filter, sort, and you want to debug the whole thing. Let's check it out. All right, let's imagine you have a list of very German names. So you might want to start off with Helmut, then add a Franz, also add Anton, and last but not least, a very German name, Hans. You turn the list into a stream, and then let's call a couple of functions on that stream. So imagine you want to map every name, you want to double up every name. So you just turn every name into name plus name. So there should be Helmut Helmut. Then you want to filter every name, the resulting names. Um, let's say you want to have every name that starts with an H. And at the end, you want to sort the whole thing. You collect it to a list. And then, right, let's turn the whole thing into a variable. And you might even want to print it out to the console. Just quickly double checking it, running the program. And you will see on the console, you'll see a list. It has Hans Hans, Helmut Helmut, sorted, filtered, mapped. Right. But now, what happens? if you want to debug the whole thing. And what you might want to do is put a breakpoint here, run debug, and then you can obviously step through it, but that is a bit stupid because you don't really see after each call, after map, after filter, after sort, what the stream contains, and that's what you wanna see. But fear not, in IntelliJ there's a way around that. And when you have your breakpoint on a stream chain, like here with our list, there's a small button down here, and actually it should exactly does. It says trace current stream chain. So when you click that button, a new window opens up. It will take a second, and then you have two views. And I don't want to confuse you with the uh, flat view at the moment, but go to split mode, and I'll walk you through it, because you'll see you have a couple of tabs here. And every tab corresponds to a method call. So you've got the list with our four names, that's right. And then you've got a map tab, which is our new method call here. When you click that, you'll see there's a new window here, a new pane to the right. And you'll see that Helmut went through the map call depicted with the arrow here. And afterwards is Helmut Helmut. The same with Franz will turn into Franz Franz. Same with Anton will turn into Anton Anton. And the same with Hans Hans. Right. So you can exactly see the input and the output of the map call. And then you can go on to filter. Filter, you'll see already our mapped names. And then afterwards, you'll see there's only two left. Helmut Helmut got filtered. Hans Hans got filtered because they are the only ones that start with an H. And these two in the middle here are left out. Same when you go to sort it, you'll see they actually switch positions. Helmut Helmut, Hans Hans, if you sort them, natural order, Hans Hans will be first. And at the end, you'll see the collection to an array list, and that's pretty much all there is. And now going back to flat mode, you'll see the whole thing. You have no tabs in here, but you'll actually see the whole thing uh, in one screen, which is a bit stupid here on my uh, small screen, but you can actually scroll through it and you'll see the very same thing. Let me just make that right. That looks a bit better. So you can actually see Hans went to Hans Hans, then he got filtered, he got sorted, he got collected, and um, that's pretty much it. And that is pretty much how you debug streams in Java. All right, that's it already for today's tip. Stay tuned for the next tip next week. And other than that, check out my website because by the end of this week, I think, you don't have to have a membership anymore, but you can actually buy single courses and keep them forever. Have lifetime access, get updates, get the source code and whatnot. Let me know what you think.